Hello Indie Game fans, coverage of the Steam Next Festival continues with one of my favourite subgenres in cosy or wholesome games. These generally have a very cute aesthetic that will make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but they are not without obstacles or challenges. Let's begin with Kitty Builder, a sandbox building title where you play as the adorable builder cat Kitty, having free range to build these cities in any way that you please. It promises a stress-free experience, but the gameplay loop involves running about looking for blueprints, after which you then have the flexibility to build and decorate the cities for other kitties to live in. I think that it has a very interesting look, again with 2D sprites in 3D environments, similar to the farming sim Stacko, which is very pleasant. While time management might not exactly be stress-free, in Onsen Master, you are running a hot spring catering to Japanese spirits or yokai as you use various ingredients to cure the ailments of your customers. If any of you has been to a hot spring, sauna, or even a hot tub, you will be familiar with the restorative effects of steam, which makes the theme here rather cozy. Among the numerous farming sims out there, the Garden Path stands out since this is a freeform live sim title that's more about gardening, which can be one of the most relaxing and pleasant activities to do as you see your plants grow and thrive. In a similar way to games like Cozy Grove, time in this game runs parallel to the real world and is designed to be played as and when you want to, touted as a celebration of the tranquil and pensive, so how's that for a cozy time? There are a number of NPCs to get to know, your own home and space for solitude, and even additional mechanics like fishing or trading items in addition to the gardening, simply looking very pleasant. I'm not the biggest fan of the art style, since certain environments and objects are difficult to see, but it is in line with the almost children's book-like nature of this game, so I guess it works. I quite like the look of The Palace on the Hill, an exploration title set in a 15th century Indian fort where it's about exploring the area and uncovering the lost history of your village. There are adventure game-like elements of finding items to give to others to access new areas, as well as a farming and foraging aspect, all of which lends itself to the cozy vibes. I'm not sure how historically accurate this is, but it does come to us from a two-person developer from India, and it is always nice to see elements of a developer's culture in their games. It's a title about history, culture, and the passing down of stories, so of course it gets a spot.
A wondrous looking game is Whisper, a non-violent 3D exploration title where you're on a journey to become a whisper, a tracker of sorts, as you seek out and catalogue by writing in your notebook about the various wisps of the world. There seems to be a Witcher Vision-like mechanic that allows you to track your quarry down, with progression being in the form of new tools and upgrades to help you traverse the environment. I think that the 3D environments in this look fantastic, and thus am pretty curious about this. I mentioned trading time a little while back, I believe during the Wholesome Direct in summer, where you are shipwrecked on an island paradise colony of frogs which is just the cutest. It's an adventure exploration title where you are going around the island getting items for these characters, finding a way to get by and to eventually repair your ship. While cynically, this is a little fetch quest-like in nature, the movement and platforming around the island seems fun, even having tools like a glider to help you get around looking like another pleasant entry. I was waiting for a good opportunity to show off Little Gator Game, and since I got a demo for this festival, where better than right here? In the description on the Steam store page, the first point under Important Game Facts is that it is cute and has a gator, so you know exactly what the developers are going for. You play as a wobbly little gator, who is the equivalent of a little kid, gathering materials and using the power of imagination to have some fun, and it's an open world exploration title that looks really good. Definitely some A Short Hike vibes from this game, looking to be all kinds of wonderful, taking the number one spot. For more cozy games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.